Hey, hello, I'm Julie Jo. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today's video is a video I haven't done before, and it's a lore video. Lore is like the story or reasoning behind certain things. We're particularly going to talk about Mary Scott, who is someone I recently talked about in a video when I did a live by myself on the Olive Tree people. It was her and Shanna Hunter that were in my live and I reacted to their video. Feel free to go watch it if you want before this, but you don't have to to understand the lore of it because I'm going to explain it to you. The reason I'm doing this video anyway is because Mary Scott got upset that I did that live and was upset about other people doing the Olive Tree People videos. She made this big post which we're going to talk about at the end and kind of break apart but I feel like I won't do that justice until we go down into the deep lore of Mary Scott and the anti-MLM genre and all that has gone on with her because there's quite a bit well one big instance that kind of trickled on for a while don't forget I have new merch and a liquid IV affiliate link and you can become a member and all the good things let's get started I want to start off this video by saying, in my opinion, Mary Scott is a grifter. If you don't know what a grifter is, a grifter is someone who swindles someone or a company or something to get money or the most that they can out of that company and then moves on to the next grift or the next scam in my opinion. And remember this video is my opinion and I'm, I'm just gonna go through what she said, what we said, what went down. And let me explain why I personally think Mary Scott is a grifter. I think she is a grifter the same way and the same reason that I think Shanna Hunter is a grifter because they go from new MLM to new MLM to new MLM, become some kind of corporate leg in the company at the very top and get as much money as they can as it's opening and growing quickly. And as it starts to go down and get a little saturated or get some bad publicity or starts to have a bad rap, they move on to the next grift. For example, Shanna Hunter's been in a lot of multi-level marketing companies, especially ones that open up. The most recent one that was the biggest one was Elamir. She was like the corporate leg number one person in Elamir and then jumped over to the Olive Tree people, which is kind of in the same position as Elamir was when it first started. Same with Mary Scott, except Mary Scott was in Vic Beauty when it opened, jumped to Beauty Society, and then jumped to the Olive Tree people. And all three of these have been since the very end of 2021. She's jumped from MLM to MLM to MLM, newer ones, might I add, that previously or just opened or haven't even opened completely yet to the public. This tells me that it is not about the products ever. It's not about the community and it's not about the company. But specifically, in my opinion, I think that they believe it is all about the money. Now let's talk about how all of this started. So Chelsea Suarez, also known as Cece Suarez, made a video about Vic Beauty and then someone who was in Vic Beauty who did, I guess, kind of like an opportunity call slash like telling her why story and Chelsea reacted to that video. In that video, Chelsea mentioned something about the girl's eyebrows being a little far apart and moved on. Chelsea did not stay on her looks or her eyebrows or anything much at all after that. It was pretty much just bringing facts and knowledge to the video. Well, it seems that the girl's upline, the girl who was in that video that Chelsea reacted to, told Mary Scott what happened and Mary Scott got very pissed off. Very pissed off. Let me show you the intro to her video. I so took a drink right when I pressed go live. Bad idea. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm like, shaking. I have had quite the morning. Um, waking up to comments in my inbox, or not in my inbox, actually, they didn't write me to my inbox, comments all over my page, all over Facebook, um, that were so disgusting. So I want to stop there. What we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to take this video and we're not going to do the whole video. I've done the whole video before. I reacted to Isabella reacting to it. Why didn't I ask Isabella for the video to react to it? I don't know. That's just how I did it. It was a couple years ago. 
it was the same year that I started my YouTube. I think I had been doing it for like four or five months, maybe six. So just bear with me as you watch that video. <laughs> but I will put this in a Google Doc and I will link it below if you just want to watch her video only and not watch my response to her video. So all you have to do is go below in my description, click the Google Drive link, and you should be able to watch this video in that doc. And I'm giving that option because I'm only going to be taking little parts of this video. I've already done the full one before. And that way, if you want to watch the whole thing or she's like, they just took little parts of the video because she did delete this, you and anyone is able to go watch it there. So in this very beginning, you can tell she's shaking, she's angry, she's trying to contain herself. She says that she woke up to comments all over her page. And I think the biggest issue with this live that she did was one, she lied throughout the live and it was easy to disprove her lies. This was actually one of her first lies and it was within one minute of her saying, comments were all over my stuff and also I had no notifications. Let's look at now when she says she actually had no notifications. Uh, my usual morning of, you know, doing my daily devotionals, praying, um, I kind of felt a little stirring in my heart. And I go to look at Facebook and, you know, actually my alerts were fine. I wasn't alerted by anything except somebody had commented on one of my posts that was my friend's and they said something in response to somebody else. And I was like, huh, what's going on here? Within the first like minute and 10 seconds of the video, we already see a lie. And that is one of the biggest issues with this video, like I mentioned, is a lot of us watched it and said, wait a minute, you lied throughout this video. And might I add that Mary is the one who reacted to this saying, you know, you can come at me, come at my team. We can tell that Mary got upset and she reacted to Chelsea's video, not about her, but about someone in her downline and put this out there. She put this out there and throughout the video, she pretty much invites Chelsea to <laughs> react to it. And then also invites people like, I know you're going to do it. You might as well do it type of thing. And you can watch it. I'm not going to take all those moments from this video and show you. I'm just going to hit some key moments as we get into what happened recently. So that was the first kind of lie, right? And what happens is after this video, a lot of us call her out for lying about things in this video. And then she becomes the victim in the situation. And that is the best role she's ever had. She is the best at playing a victim in a situation that she starts, lies about, and then when she gets called out for it, instantly is cyber bullied. She's a warrior, a fighter. She's a victim. So we're going to talk about Mary up here right now in this video where she's like the hero and like coming in to swoop in and kind of do damage control. And then we're going to go to how she becomes the victim, as I've mentioned a little bit already. And then we're going to go to what is going on today. Let's watch this. You can pick me apart all day long. Go for it, girl. But the moment that you pick apart my team is the moment I'm coming after you. Uh, so in this, she says, I'm coming after you. You can pick apart me all day long. You pick me apart all day long. The thing is, no one has picked her apart. None of us content creators have. And we asked her multiple times to send us people who have said terrible things to you in your DMs, people who have commented terrible things to you. Send it to us. We will block them. A lot of us did. And the issue is she never showed us anything. She never sent us names. This happens a lot with people in multi-level marketing companies. They're going to play the victim and they act as though this whole genre of anti-MLM are the worst hate hater bullies, whatever that you can think of, and that everyone comes and attacks that person. And that person says, I'm being attacked. These people are terrible. But that person won't show us who's attacking them for us to even talk about it or for us to block those people. A lot of us in no way condone those kind of attacks, especially like your looks and stuff like that. That's just ridiculous. She also said that Chelsea went after this person's looks throughout the entire video, all of her looks, her as a person and then her as a Christian. It's funny because none of that happened minus the like eyebrow thing where Chelsea said her eyebrows are a little far apart because this is a makeup MLM. Now, obviously don't condone that kind of thing. However, that's what was said. And Mary's saying that it was a billion times worse than that and then inserting extra lies knowing that people who follow Mary or trust Mary or Mary's downline or anyone who's not anti-MLM will not go watch that video and believe Mary. 
So now let's look at the next little section. Cece Suarez, whoever, tag her, make sure she knows. Um, that you know what go ahead pick on direct sales go pick on say you're anti mlm say that you don't like direct sales but one you're making money off of your nasty videos you're making money off of the views that you're getting by the hate that you're creating on youtube how is that not scamming people you're taking people and say putting them under a microscope calling them names call, doing disgusting things. And this isn't just about my company. I saw her do it with Jessie Lee. I've seen her do it with Monet. I've seen her do it with many companies. You go through and you see all the things that she has and she can't be reported. So Mary Scott is saying that what we do as people who are anti-MLM is the real scam, right? We're calling them scammers and predators, but we're the actual real scammers. And she goes into it even later about how we're the actual real predators that were scamming people by making money off of you viewing a video, which is hilarious because then that would mean that every other person on YouTube is also a scammer. It's funny also because in reality, she's the one making money. If we're comparing the way I make money and the way she makes money, she's making it way more unethically than I am. She's making it off the backs of other people's hard work who won't be making money most likely anyway. So that's why we call them the scammers. That's why we say, you know, this is not good. This is a scam. Why is it a scam? Because you say it's a good opportunity when in reality it's a terrible opportunity and you make money off of those that you can convince that it's a good opportunity. You make money off of them hoping they can get out of a hard situation and you make money off of hitting their pain points and giving them a false sense of hope. Now let's move on to the next little section. Somebody without even knowing who they are or is you're not coming with valuable facts. Somebody had just said to me on even a comment, well, the fact is, is that we stand up for that you guys are predators and that MLM people are predators. And so that we are standing up against hate. We hate you guys because you're predators. Okay. If we are predators, I ask you to really think about that for a second and think about what you're talking about and how that's being a predator. If anything, it's actually you being a predator by coming and trying to find my post or find my team's post or find anybody in direct sales post and bash them. That is what is, is you're preying on us. You're preying on direct sales people, what they're doing, their business model. But the fact is, if I went and opened up my own company, Smack, like I did, and, and I hired um, people to work hourly, but they couldn't build a direct sales team. They couldn't make anything but hourly, uh, an hourly wage. You would be like high five me. Good job. That's awesome. Great. But yet they're not even making the amount of money they could make if they would go and sell the product in a direct sales company. So to me, I'm like, wait, which one really is a predatory company? I mean, you think anything. For so here, obviously she is saying like, we're the actual predators and like the predatory companies are the corporate companies and how People who make hourly wages are, and how people who make hourly wages are in a worse position than people who are in an MLM, which is factually, objectively incorrect. Now, I want to let you know that this next part is, should definitely come with a trigger warning and the fact that she does talk about um, unaliving. So if you need to skip it, I would skip probably about a minute starting um, right about now. So if you need to skip a minute, you can. All right, so let's listen to this. The beauty, when you go and you go and you prey on those people, you're preying on me, you're preying on others, and you're making it so that people feel invaluable. And the fact is, is you mess with the wrong person. You mess with the wrong people. And I, I just think about it this way. If you would have said the things that you said to my friend Christy, who has this the amazing heart, and honestly, I'm so glad that she's in the mindset that she is. If you would have said that to a person that was on the verge of suicide, that was not feeling good about themselves, that was broken, that was hurting, you could have killed somebody that day. And I'm not joking. And that to me is the most disgusting part about these anti MLMers. So you can go and hashtag your couch, hashtag your sofa, hashtag whatever you want to go and do, get your people in here. You are preying on the people that are hurting and hoping to break them down and hurt them even more. As you can see, I'm sure that you are fuming <laughs> as much as I am or was when I originally saw this. She is saying that ultimately we need to be careful because we could actually unalive someone by what we're doing. That is false. We do not do that and we never will. Now, if someone unalives themselves due to their mental health or due to their situation, that's horrific. That's horrific. But let me be very clear. She's using this as a way for us to look like 
horrible people who unalive people. She's saying this and doing this so that we look like people who make people unalive themselves. So that we look like muck duckers. Okay? And I want you to replace the C with R's and then you'll understand what I'm saying. So here's the issue. If your mental health is so bad that you could potentially do that based on someone saying one mean thing on the internet, you should not be on the internet. Let me be very clear. No matter who you are, what you do, how incredible you are, or how nothing you are on the internet, if you're on it no matter what, saying anything, doing anything, or just existing, people are going to say mean, awful things to you. Therefore, you should not be on the internet. If someone's going to unalive themselves due to me creating a video about how they're a scammer, that is not on me. They should not be on the internet whatsoever. As someone who left an MLM, I tried to unalive myself due to my trauma from my MLM. So Mary, I guess I could say the same thing to you. If we're going to play that game, what about you? What about you preying on people in the MLM? And now apparently we are predators who make people unalive themselves and that's what she's trying to push in this scenario. Anyway, I know that's wild and it's gonna get even worse here in a little bit. So just wanted to keep you aware. Again, this video is insane. And I'm not showing you all of it because, because I've already done it in a video before and I just want to show you some highlights as to why a lot of us were like, wait, whoa, what are you talking about? Why are you lying? Why are you saying this? And with that, let's move on to the next section. An amazing gift to serve others. And she loves Jesus with all her heart. And to me, and I literally sat here like thinking, okay, should I go live about this? Should I go live about this? And I, I'm waiting for these people. Obviously, they're not going to come on here today to be like, oh, you know, talk trash because they're just going to sit there. You guys are being keyboard warriors. You would never, that girl would never say that to my face or say it to your face. You, you know, that's the funny thing is, it's like, I absolutely 100% would say it to your face if I ever saw you, Mary. I know Chelsea would, and I know a lot of us other creators would say it as well. You are a scammer in our opinions. Straight up, that's not going to change in my mind. And she's saying this, making us look like, quote unquote, keyboard warriors and cowards so that she looks better to people in her downline. We see here she's trying to do some damage control by saying these kind of things. And she's still continuing with this damage control thing that she's trying to do after the couple of videos that were done on Vic and her, someone in her downline. These people feel like they can create these videos to make it or create, you know, type what they want, talk all the trash they want, say these things to be a keyboard warrior. But fact is, girl, I'll give you my phone. You never even wrote my inbox. Like the people that went and went, of course, and boot, they boosted my algorithm. High five to you. But algorithm high five to you. But fact is, you never even messaged me personally to talk to me and say, hey, you know, I don't really stand for what you're doing or I don't, you know, get it or I don't understand it. You never even gave me a chance to even defend myself or or anybody else that has been hit by these people, um, you just want to go and bash them. And then you get all of your swarms of people to do the same thing and like your comment a hundred times to make it look like, oh, everybody agrees with you. Nobody agrees with you. Nobody agrees with you. No, None of your fake accounts or fake people agree with you. Um, it's, ba it's basically disgusting. So there she is again doing more damage control. She's intentionally lying, knowing that, as she said at the beginning, Chelsea has a huge platform. 100, 100,000 people now, back then probably like 50,000 people, right? Huge. So she said that at the beginning, saying this person has a lot of people watching and liking and commenting, but then says here that they're fake profiles and fake people and no one agrees with you. Another lie to try to push that narrative of we are all liars and haters and terrible people. And then at the same time doing intense damage control, which in my opinion, it turned out to be bad for her because it was easy to spot her lies and to call her out. But again, a lot of people that follow her and agree with her likely didn't watch any of our videos. It's still going to get more wild, so uh, buckle up. We are over halfway through me showing some of these clips. It's going to get even more wild. <laughs> I can't believe I said that, but it's true. Whew. I had to spit it out. I was frustrated. I was angry. And I'm one of those that like, Jesus, take the wheel. But when you mess with somebody, you mess with my kids, you mess with my team, you mess with my company, you mess with other people, that's when I get angry. So she is intentionally doing this out of anger. She wanted to do this because she's super angry. 
but then gets mad when we respond to her initiating this because she was angry. She got mad and called herself the victim, essentially, and we'll talk about that here in a few minutes, and also talked about herself being like a cyberbullying survivor or warrior or whatever when she started this and did it out of anger and continued to lie about us. Let's listen to the next part. And you have to be able to get over the hurt that was caused to you. Um, if you feel like, oh, you were preyed on by another company or by a leader or by me, um, gosh, you know what? I am sorry. I'll be the first person to say I'm sorry. The only thing I ever want for anybody is good. Um, but it's not up to me to work your business. That's up to you to work your business. I will not overpromise. I will always over deliver. If you have a problem that you're facing, I will help you solve it. I'll get on the phone with you. I'll chat with you. But the fact is, is you cannot say that I prey on people to join me. Now, yes, you join my team or you join any company, you have to put work in. You have to put work in. If you join, if you're hurt because you didn't get along with your upline and you're going on and bashing your upline or bashing the company or bashing direct sales because you didn't go get along with your upline or the company or whatever happened, it's because you didn't work your business. Your upline is not your boss. Your upline is not going to make magic happen. Your upline is going to be there to support you. Sometimes there are some that don't, but if they're not, then you go and you find the support and the resources to build your business and stop blaming other people for things that you are not able to do. And so a lot of times people will get on here or bash direct sales because it didn't work for them because they say, oh, well, you know what? Oh, that model, it's a pyramid scheme. I tried and um, I didn't make anything. I just lost money. Well, yeah, you lost money because you didn't work your business. You didn't believe in your products. You didn't treat it like a business. You didn't do the tasks. I'm going to tell you what, this business, this industry is not easy. I will never lie to you about that one bit. It is not easy. It is not. I do work a lot. I do take my business everywhere I go. I do miss some things because I get addicted to working. Um, but that's any business, if I did it with Smack or if I did it with any other business, I would still have the same results. I would still go crazy and, and still want to build a relationship. Why? Because this is my ministry. This is what I'm doing. It's not about the money that I'm making. Yes, I'm going to say I do love, I do love to make money. Who doesn't? But at the same time, I love to build relationships much more. I know a lot of people on here that you like to build relationships much more, but you move to two other MLMs after this that were opening up um, to build new ones, I guess. What about your old ones that you left? You do it because of the money. That's the number one thing, Mary. It's very obvious. You move and shift and change your grift. That rhymed, oh my gosh, because of the money. And I mean, it's my opinion that that happens, but like I'm looking at it and just thinking logically. And Mary goes on here, in her spiel, I guess she's upset enough to do this. She shames people who left MLM or got hurt by an MLM saying that they just didn't work hard enough and that's their issue and that's their problem and they don't need to take it out on people like Mary. But the issue is Mary and people like Mary, you give them false hope. You say it's a great opportunity when it's not. You lie about this opportunity because just them joining even once just for the starter kit lights a fire under your butt and sends money up your way. And you could do that to a ton of people when you have a big downline. Doesn't matter if they actually work. You just need that one person that one day to buy something once. Because when you have a downline of her size, if everyone in her downline did that once a week, she would have a thousand new people, a thousand new purchases, right? So ultimately, it doesn't matter if they lie. They just want to get you to buy. I am rhyming so well today. Jeez. All right, let's move on to the next section. Here we go. Or a bad one. And I'm sorry if you were hurt by another direct sales company or you were you felt you were preyed on. But I will tell you what, that's, that's I mean, like, it's not direct sales. But in life altogether, there are bad people out there that will do the exact same thing. And to be honest, that's exactly what you're doing right back when you're standing for these people. You're preying on people in direct sales to go and bash them, to go to their pages, to make them feel worthless, to make them feel ugly, to make them feel insecure, to do things that are disgusting. So today, I hope this gets shared. And I hope, you know, honestly, I do know that. But she says she hopes this gets shared. And uh, so what she's saying is that we prey on people. We make them feel ugly, awful, terrible. She's continuing to lie to these people who likely won't go watch the videos or won't listen to us and make them think that we're just horrible, terrible people. And we call her out. I think this specifically is one of those moments that we were like, hey, you're lying. You're straight up lying. We don't do that. 
sure. I'm sure there's some people in the anti-MLM genre who have said terrible things about people, right? Who, who've made fun of the looks, but like the majority of us don't do that. That's not a thing. We intentionally don't do that. And we make it a point for other people's not to as well. So she's a bold faced liar because she knows these people listening, like I said, aren't going to go watch our stuff and hold her accountable for her lies. It's interesting that she got so upset and became an instant victim, which like I said, I'm going to talk about in a second, whenever she posts this saying awful things about all of us who do this content, that we're disgusting, that we're predators, that we're this and this and that, when in reality, none of that's true. I say you're a predator because you prey on vulnerable people who are in a terrible position so that you can make money. That's pretty much a predator in my opinion but you think i'm a predator for calling you a predator make it make sense mary recently did a video on vic hey congratulations that's what i that's exactly what i said to the girl uh, the girl that she picked on i said congratulations you just made it us really big um so you know i guess that's you know, you, when you get big and you start to grow and you start to get eyes, that's what happens. Haters decide to watch and they decide to trash you and you become in the eye of not only the good, but also the ugly. So also the ugly. So I I think about it as, you know what? Woohoo, Vic, we just made it big. You know, like that's exactly my feelings is, is congratulations. Like, so Mary went from being super upset and mad that Chelsea did this video to going, you made us big, you made us big. Mary, we all know that's a lie. And also, if it made you so big, then why'd you leave? Straight up. She left pretty soon after this, by the way, from what I know. All right. Today I woke up thinking, okay, as I saw all this, I'm not going to respond. I'm going to just block these people. I'm not going to do much because they went after me on my Facebook page. But then I started working out. So even here, she says at the beginning, like I said, that a lot of people went after her. And then she says, oh, I didn't have any you know, notifications. No one was coming after me. And then she says again, all of them are coming after me. And let's remember, this was a video. This was the initial video where we met Mary Scott. None of us knew about Mary Scott or cared about Mary Scott for that matter until she did this. So no one was in her inbox or on her stuff commenting about how she was ugly and awful and blah, blah. No one knew her. And we asked her, like I said, to show us proof so we can blog those people, like, you know, end it with them. And she wouldn't do it because I can guarantee you if there were any, there weren't many. The rhymes today, I'm not meaning to do it, but it's happening. I want to let you know there's a trigger warning on this next part for um, grape, but take the G off. I was like, you know what? Like, we're going to be persecuted throughout life for everything. If I can't handle this, how am I going to handle the real persecution during the end times when somebody has a gun to my head and says, do you believe in Jesus or not? Like, if I can't be persecuted through Facebook and stand up for myself, or for other people and say, this is not okay. How am I going to actually react to people when when Jesus has me on the line and saying, hey, you know, or if he does ever, you know, like, here's the thing is persecution has happened for years and years. And to me, this, this is, I, I believe that we are to stand up and love people. You don't have to believe the same way as I do. You don't have to do the same, but I still believe in love and, and hurt people. Yes, hurt people, but that's also an excuse. Here's the thing. I'm hurt too. I'm not going to go. That's like saying, and, and this is where, where I started thinking about, and that's why I decided to go live about this. I was like, so Upson's raped. Does that mean they get to be a rapist? Like, cause they, they've been raped, like hurt people, hurt people. Yep. You're right. But that doesn't, that's an excuse. And that's not okay. I mean, even then it still made me jump. I knew it was coming, but like, I kind of was just so into what she was saying at the moment. And then I forgot that she throws that out there. Mary, what are you saying? Why would you use that example? It's horrific. I'm telling you right now, this video is awful. What she says is terrible. And you can tell she's doing it out of damage control, anger, and the fact that she just doesn't like people hating on stuff that she does. I mean, let's be real. Uh, she already responded to me making a video and other people talking about the olive tree people. She already responded to that and was like, I wasn't going to do it. And like I said, we'll cover that. But oh my gosh, Mary. Really? 
when I when when people use those kinds of examples, they go to that point of using those examples. I know that they're just emotionally like unraveled. They they emotionally cannot handle what's going on, and and they don't have the emotional maturity to understand or even like make sense of it. They have to go to the extremes. That's my opinion, but that is, seems to me that's what happens. So we're almost done with this, and then we're gonna move on to our victim stage. This next one is some fake manipulation, as we all know. Mary loved to do that. I mean, she really hit all the things in this, all the kinds of manipulation tactics and everything, really. It was kind of wild to watch happen. People business. And because God's called us to it. Like if when God calls you to something and you know that, you know what, I may not, I may be an introvert, but he took me out of my comfort zone to say, you know what? you're going to do something here and you're going to share, be able to share your life. You're going to be able to share about your circumstances. You're going to be able to share, you know, about what I've done in your life and how much, you know, going from nothing to something and giving your, I'm going to give you a voice to speak with. Everyone is called to different types of things. And the fact is, is this is what I'm called to. And I'm called to love people. And I just happen to do it through company that I, I really do love. And I'm excited to grow and I'm excited to sell their products because I love them. Well, you left, so you didn't love them that much, did you? And the very last one I want to cover, it's just the ending of this. Today, you know what? I just hope that this brings more people and more leaders together to stand up against those that are, are hating on us for the industry that we are in. Because to be honest, we are the ones that are being preyed upon. We are the ones that... Um, they're coming after like I didn't seek after this girl. She's seeking after us and seeking after any videos that we set we post. Um, I don't seek after the anti MLMers until today. This is the first time I've decided to do a video just for you all. <laughs> so she does admit that she seeks us for this. I mean, she she said this girl seeked her like Chelsea seeks her. Chelsea didn't seek her. No one knew about you, Mary. No one cared until you did this and you said I'm seeking y'all. You want us to react. So then we did. And apparently she didn't like that. She didn't like us calling her out for all of these lies. So let's move on to the next stage. Mary playing victim. Let's look. This is the first picture where she didn't have any makeup on. She looks sad. Her hair is not done. She's sitting by the window. And this is what she says. I have prayed. I have given it to God. I have called lawyers. I have read his word. I've been angry. I've prayed more. I've cried. I have prayed some more. I've laughed. I've blasted worship music. I have so much I want to say, but I wait for the right time. For the time God leads the words out of my mouth instead of moving on my feelings. The time that I can say what I want to say without being mad and disgusted. But yes, I've seen it. Well, kind of saw one posted by her friend, but I refuse to watch it as I will not feed into someone that monetizes on hate. And yes, I know what another one is coming. Remember, she asked us to do this. She called on us and said, I know you're going to do it, so just do it type of thing. So we did it. And apparently now she's a victim. She goes on, but at least this time it's me it's happening to and not someone else out there. Jesus. Biggest thing that breaks me is knowing I won't be the last person they do this to. They will continue on to a new person spreading lies and more hate in no time. They will sneak in on Zoom calls just to record a leader and make fun of what he or she is doing, which by the way, we don't do that. The make fun part, we do do the recording part of Zoom calls. They will comment and hate on many people's looks and profiles if they are doing MLM wrong. We don't do that. Again, perpetrating a lie, which she likes to do. They will get a crowd to make fun of them and tear them apart. Another lie. They will find people who maybe were broken to put thoughts of more anguish in them. Really, Mary? Interesting coming from you. But guess what, she says. I know God will overall win this victory. That no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Today I am praying for the next person that they come after. That their heart will be okay. That they will know that and trust God will get them through this. Hashtag purpose drive. That's a weird one. Hashtag stop hate. Hashtag love others. Hashtag spread kindness. Hashtag give back. Hashtag prayer. Hashtag know your worth. And then there were other things. I don't remember whose this was, like who posted this. If it was you, your comment, let us know. Um, but the person took a screenshot of what Mary commented on one of her posts. I think it was like one of these posts that she made playing victim, posted on there and then said some stuff. So this person asked, what did the lawyer say? Mary Scott said, they are gathering things right now. It's definitely a process. The girl responded, 
It kind of makes you wonder, what are they teaching their children? Cyberbullying's okay, Mary says. I think they believe in doing all it takes to stand up for what they believe in. If that means hurting people who don't agree, then that's what they will do. There is no reason with them. There's no reasoning with them or even agreeing to disagree. It's a choose a side type of platform they're building. It's sad and very inhumane. Unsure if the ones creating the videos are parents. Seems to me that they aren't, but have no idea. So this person copied and pasted that on their story and said, Mary invites herself into a situation that doesn't involve her. Also asks us several times to call her out, calls Chelsea out directly, construes Instagram stories and things for a personal benefit and makes false claims on Chelsea's content. Also Mary, OMG, they called me out and held me accountable. Better get a lawyer for a baseless case. So Mary shared like a story and someone said in this story, where is the threat? No one threatened you because Mary's like, people are threatening me. People are like, I'm scared. People are going after me. They're threatening me. And I mean, it was so dramatic. It was so wild. And this was all after she made the video. She was like saying like she was terrified for her life, but she wouldn't show who was doing these terrible things to her because we were asking her, we wanted to, we wanted to block them. We wanted to call them out. We wanted to say, you can't do this. This is not what we want. But she wouldn't show because, in my opinion, it wasn't happening. Someone said, where's the threat? No one threatened you, Mary. Do you also not understand what a threat is? Like, honestly, or are you threatened that the anti-MLM is about to expose you as a liar? Am I threatening you? Come on, what would Jesus do? <laughs> That's kind of funny. She said, did this person really just say what would Jesus do? And then calling all MLMers liars, really? Because if I'm a liar, because I'm in an MLM, then I guess that's all of us. That person literally didn't say that, but okay. They're talking about the fact that you lied on your live consistently throughout that live, but whatever. Mary says, I have never in my life seen a hate group like this anti-MLM hate group. These people are attacking and really all gang up people and go after them like crazy. Can we all agree to stop using words like bullying, hate groups, hate crimes, things like that for things that literally don't mean it? Because what we do when we say bully or hate group is essentially saying, this is what bullying is, when in reality, that's not bullying. And you're making the word and what it actually stands for mean less. A hate group is awful. Hate groups commit hate crimes on people. Hate is a very strong word and using the word hate group for us? No, that's wrong. Her intention with all of it is to be the victim when she's the one who lied and she asked us to call her out and talk to her. She posted this picture. She said, thank you anti-MLM groups slash people for the algorithm boost on all of my posts. I sat here pissed at all your comments for about 10 seconds, then realized you're just following the pyramid scheme you, cre you are creating to hate people in MLMs. She really said that we are following the pyramid scheme that we are creating to hate people in MLMs. She really said that, I wish I was kidding. She continued, you don't know better. But you did boost my algorithm, so thanks for that. We checked, didn't boost anything. Fun fact. She also privatized her account. Fun fact. She said, read through all your comments, looked at your profiles, can tell many of you are so sad and so hurt, which breaks my heart, but also had to block those I could because hate is not allowed in my space. I hope that each of you learn how to love people instead of spread hate. Hashtag anti-MLM, hashtag spread love, hashtag stop watching me, hashtag do your own thing, hashtag get a job, hashtag stop hating. Hi, it's Editing Julie Jo. There was an important piece to the puzzle that I forgot to add. So in this picture, which I'm going to show you here, she had a different caption. Let me get into what she actually wrote first before she deleted it and completely changed what she said. She said in this first caption, I set myself up for this trap. Ugh, I just don't like people being picked on. I hate it. As I woke up to so much hate on my post because a person decided to do a mean YouTube video that went viral, directed at a person I know and love with Vic, while people looked up Vic, found my post, and started at me. No, Mary, people didn't look up Vic, find your post, and start at you, like you said. You made this long live, which most of it was a lie and fabricated and made us look absolutely disgusting. You intentionally said horrific stuff about us and we weren't okay with that. She said, so I make a live defending this industry and my friend 
no, you did not make that live. First off, she's like, people looked me up, found my post and started at me. Mary, you got to pick a side. You said I had so many people coming at me on my posts while also simultaneously saying a completely conflicting thing of I had no notifications. I had nothing. I saw a comment posted on a picture that I was tagged into my friend. So what is it? Were a bunch of people all up in your biz saying mean things? Or did you just see it from afar? Did some of the other grapevine let you know, as you said? I have a feeling it's not the a bunch of people attacking you thing, because I didn't see it. Now there was a bunch of people calling you out for lying in that lie. She said, so I make a live defending this industry and my friend. I have also asked the video creator to call me, gave her my number and asked if she would even do a video together debating MLM to allow someone that's a victim of her videos or to MLM to stand up for themselves at least. She hasn't responded to that. First off, Chelsea did respond and, and the lawyers told her, no, 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 don't get on the phone with this person. That's weird. And literally you, you said in this sentence, to allow someone that's a victim of her videos to stand up for themselves. You have never been a victim of her videos. You pushed yourself into this. The lore of Mary Scott making herself a victim in every situation that she starts is mind blowing. She continues, but she did create a video letting the world know she is making a video about me, taking clips of my life today to share with the world. No, we all, the few of us who made videos uh, responding to what you said took your entire video not clips and we responded to the literally disgusting awful things you said about us and she ends with although i told her i'm not afraid of her i gotta admit i kind of am no you're not you're afraid of being called out as a liar you're afraid of being called out for the lies that you said and being looked at as a liar which in my opinion is what you are that's what you're afraid of you're not afraid of us you're afraid of the fact that you messed up. It's not our issue. That's yours. Okay, so I just wanted to add that in here because I thought it was really crucial. And then I guess she wants it to all kind of be erased. So she changes it to this. Update. Last night when I posted this, it was an emotional day. Woke up today knowing God is so good and I know I'm nothing to fear. People will talk. Not going to allow myself to be upset about it. Hashtag God is good. Hashtag purpose. Hashtag know your worth. Hashtag haters gonna hate. Hashtag love my life. Hashtag world changer. Hashtag stand up. Hashtag keep going. Whew. Thank God we got through all of that. That was the minuscule look into the lore of Mary Scott and the wild things that happened. Again, that's not everything. That's just like the highlights of the things. Until today or a couple days ago or yesterday, something like that. Mary Scott posted a Facebook post and was very unhappy about the fact that I had done that live, specifically talking and reacting to her and Shanna Hunter, as well as people like Aaron Bees and Savannah and um, uh, lots of other people like Tish and DC and the Clown Town and all these other people doing videos on the Olive Tree people. She's, she's very mad about it. So let me first show you the picture. It's very cute. You know, little kiss. Love it. Cute. We love that. And let's talk about what she said. This is going to be very deja vu for you if you were in the Mary Scott situation or you understood the lore that I just went through. But she said, ready for the tea? I was going to ignore this, but it's been pressing on my heart to speak out and it kills me to stay silent and feel voiceless. Mary, you should have stayed silent because you're making me more money. And I know how much you hate doing that because it's such a scam. I know how much you hate being called out when you're lying because you're a liar. Now let's read what she said. It says, I've recently come across videos made by anti MLM crowd and it's disheartening to see the misguided hate they spread. It's frustrating to witness how people can be triggered by others sharing their positive experiences and earning an income from it. And in parentheses, she said, meanwhile, these anti MLMers are getting paid to create hate content on YouTube. Their entire brand is built on bashing people in direct sales. It's funny because you think that's my brand and I actually believe that you believe that that's my brand, but it's not. Literally, that's not my brand and that's not what I do. I, I educate and focus on consumer protection, protecting people from you, Mary. People like you as well. She goes on, let's set the record straight. The product line I'm a part of has over 70 million customers worldwide, has been around for 19 years in the retail space, just is new to direct sales side of things. As the story of this amazing brand wasn't being told on the shelves like our founder wanted. 
here's the deal, Mary, the retail set space or whatever, it's been around great, but it is new to direct sales. So it's still a new MLM. I think she's trying to bash the idea of what I said, what I said on my video, my life about her and Shanna, I said, they are both grifters who go from new MLM to new MLM to new MLM and try to start at the corporate leg so that they can make as much money as they can really quickly and then move to the next one, right? When it starts to get saturated, they're like, oh, done. And I think that's what she's trying to like push aside, you know, do a little damage control. Like this isn't new, but Mary, it is new. She said that speaks volumes about the quality, loyalty, and effectiveness of these products. In the retail space in 2022 alone, they pulled in eight figures. She goes on, I've personally seen how these products have helped me and my friends with happy skin and happy insides. Not to mention the opportunity to give back and the be part of the community of God-loving women is truly inspiring. Continuing... Yet, instead of celebrating these successes, first off, Mary, why the hell would we celebrate you joining a new MLM? That's weird. She continues, the anti-MLM crowd seems to be fixated on spreading hate. Are they attacking celebrities who promote product lines that may or may not even use and make profits from? It's hypocritical to target hardworking individuals who are simply sharing what works for them in their communities. This is hilarious because celebrities who let's say do a lash commercial right they're they put on mascara and they're like this mascara is amazing you know, their mask their eyelashes are long and if they're wearing, wearing fake lashes who cares like sure don't do it but what you're doing is you're giving false hope for something that could change someone's life you are doing that you are using their false hope to make money knowing that they likely won't they'll likely lose money wild that she said that. She continues, let's not forget that these direct sale companies provide income opportunities for many individuals who may be seeking financial independence or flexibility. They enable people to pay their bills and pursue their passions. So why the hate? No, Mary, Scott, they do not. The rhymes, the rhymes, Julie Jo, what are you doing? I'm not meaning to do it, I swear. Uh, but we all know that that's a lie. And if you need me, if you need a link, if you just type in FTC MLM, it will give you everything, like all the spiel. She continues, it's time to stop the negativity and realize that anti-MLM rhetoric can be dangerous. It perpetuates unfounded assumptions, promotes division, and can harm the livelihoods of real people. Okay, let's break that apart. It perpetuates unfounded assumptions. It's not unfounded. Statistically, the majority of people in MLMs don't make money. And a lot of that comes from multi-level marketing companies who give us those statistics. The next one promotes division. I will happily promote division as long as I'm dividing someone away from an MLM. You know what I mean? I don't think we should all be together happy, joy, joy. I think that there has to be advocacy. I think that there has to be people calling out things that are bad, that are hurting people. Because without that, people are just going to fall for it. I mean, I feel like this is just logic and it, I don't know why I'm explaining it, but you are in fact the ones who promote the biggest division. And let me explain, because when someone joins an MLM, most times people go, if someone doesn't support your MLM business or that you're in an MLM, they don't support you at all. Cut them off. You are the five people that you spend the most time with. You need to cut out all negativity in your life. You need only positivity. If someone doesn't support you, if someone questions you, nope, they're negative, they're out, right? Anyone else have heard that a thousand times? Correct. And the last one, you can harm the livelihoods of real people. Well, guess what? Scammers are real people. Can I be frank with you? I don't really care if a scammer's livelihood is ruined. I don't. Because what you've done is you've ruined other people's livelihoods to make your own much better. So excuse me if I lack empathy for scammers who livelihoods are ruined, like those of Boo, Black Oxygen Organics, those of other MLMs like Tupperware that is going down the drain as of now. Excuse me if I have zero empathy for that, Mary. She continues, if you choose to participate in hate against women who are working hard and building their businesses, then kindly leave my page. Let's uplift and support each other rather than tearing each other down. Actually, what I'm doing is I am promoting the fact that women don't deserve to be taken advantage of, that they deserve to have an informed decision making process, which you don't allow. You don't allow an informed decision to be made. You allow false hope. You allow a false idea of what it is. You don't allow an informed decision. And I want to make sure that they make the decision 
but that they're informed doing so. I want to empower them to make the best decision for themselves while you like to take their power away. So <laughs> who's really hurting women here? Let's be real. She continues, in conclusion, I'm proud to be a part of a community that has brought joy, success, and empowerment to my life. I guess Vic and Beauty Society didn't bring enough joy, success, and empowerment to your life. What about the Olive Tree people in a year from now? Will they bring the same joy, success, and empowerment to your life that they're bringing now? Okay. I, she says, I stand by the products I use and love. I will continue to share my positive experiences. Let's spread kindness and understanding rather than contributing to the harmful and misguided hate propagated by the anti-MLM crowd. I'm going to be very honest here. People can take, people like this who say things like this, let's spread kindness and understanding rather than contributing to harmful and misguided hate propagated by the anti-MLM crowd. You can take kindness and shove it up your butt, truly, for all that I care. You can think I'm a mean, horrible, terrible, angry, awful person. I am totally fine with that. As long as people are listening and understanding and getting educated and being able to make informed decisions, I'm okay with looking like the bad guy. Even though I don't do things to be the bad guy. Even though I look like a bad guy because of the things and the lies that you say. I'm okay with looking like that to people. I don't care. You should see the amount of hate I get on TikTok from MLM people. They literally call me the worst things you could ever imagine. I was attacked for weeks by an old man who tried to destroy my life pretty much. He tried to ruin my future career at school and so did an, another woman. They tried to do these things to me. But you know what? I frankly don't give a damn because it tells me I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. For you to make this post tells me and a lot of others, a lot of other creators, that we're doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing. So thank you, Mary, for this post. It has reassured me that what I'm doing is important. She says, P.S. The real scammers are those that make hate videos to earn money off views. They are building a hate cult, sucking people in to watch the craziness and making money this way. I'd love to hear y'all, all of y'all who watch this. What are your thoughts on us being scammers and making hate videos and earning money off views? I'd love to know what y'all are thinking about us being a hate cult. Are we sucking you in to watch the craziness and making money off of you? Hashtag support women. Hashtag positive vibes only. Hashtag MLM pride. And that's the lore of Mary Scott. That's the, the update of Mary Scott. <laughs> it is wild and deep and almost unbelievable that there's a human being like this out there. But listen, we all know Jesse Lee is a real human being, so I'm not too surprised by a Mary Scott. They remind me a lot of each other, actually. Anyway, like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment below. I would greatly appreciate it. So thanks for being here and let me scamming you into watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Don't go to Mary. Jesus Christ, don't go hate on Mary. Lord, she's going to say you did, but don't do it. And leave all of your thoughts on her and everything else below in the comments. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye. I don't care about what has been I only care about your